Good morning. Thank you for joining with me. We are picking up in section 8. How can the perception of orders of difficulty in healing be avoided? We are in volume 3 of A Course in Miracles, the Manual for Teachers. And um, if you'd like to join me for a prayer, dear God, please enable me to set aside everything I think I know for an open mind and a new experience. Thank you, God, and so it is. All right, we are in paragraph three and four today. Where do all these differences come from? And in paragraph three, we read of all the illusions of differences. Certainly, they seem to be in the world outside, yet it is surely the mind that judges what the eyes behold. It is the mind that interprets the eyes' messages and gives them meaning. And this meaning does not exist in the world outside at all. What is seen as reality is simply what the mind prefers. Its hierarchy, its hierarchy of values is projected outward and it sends the body's eyes to find it. The body's eyes will never see except through differences. It is not the messages they bring on which perception rests. Only the mind evaluates their messages, so only the mind is responsible for seeing. It alone decides whether what is seen is real or illusory, desirable or undesirable, pleasurable or painful. It is the sorting out and categorizing activities of the mind that errors in perception enter, and it is here corrections must be made. The mind classifies what the body's eyes bring to it according to its preconceived values, judging where each sense datum fits best. What basis could be faultier than this? Unrecognized by itself, it has itself asked to be given what will fit into these categories. And having done so, it concludes the categories must be true. On this, the judgment of all differences rests. Let's go down to footnote 77. The mind, in other words, comes to the act of perception with its hierarchy of values a collection of preferred categories that it wants to find examples of in the world. The mind first sends the body's eyes to find members of these categories. Then, as sense data come in, the mind sorts those data into these pre-made categories, even if the data don't fit them. Finally, having found examples of these categories in the world, it concludes the categories must be true. In the, in the end, the mind has simply projected its different categories onto a sensory field in which no real differences exist. The perceived differences, then, come from the mind and not the world. And now back to the text. On this, the judgment of all differences rests because it is on this the judgments of the world depend. Can this confused and senseless reasoning be depended on, on for anything else? And that is where we will stop, I believe. Yes. On section 8, how can the perception of orders of difficulty in healing be avoided? In the last sentence, I'd like to repeat that again. Can this confused and senseless reasoning be depended on for anything. Mm -hmm.